Aircrete, of course, is a very versatile substance, but there are a couple things it doesn't do well. First, it's sort of soft, and even when it's fully cured, it's pretty easy to dent it. Secondly, uh, it's hard to texture. Um, most of the time, people make an aircrete dome, and then they have to surface it with something hard and durable like stucco. But we're going to try to make aircrete blocks straight out of the molds that already have a hard face on them that's weather resistant and potentially even uh, colored. Uh, although I don't think we'll do the color today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, stamping mold with a texture on it and we're going to put it in the bottom of the mold and we're going to pack it full of uh, topping mix which is normally hard when it comes out uh, like concrete and then we're going to fill the balance of it with regular aircrete and in that way we may in fact have an aircrete block that has all the insulating value and lightness of aircrete but with a hard outer face and um, perhaps a rock texture or some such and that's what we're going to try today and I don't think uh, anyone's done this yet so this will be the first for both of us let's see how it went all right, for texture, we're going to use concrete stamps. Normally, these are used for face down in wet concrete. And as you can see, they come in a variety of styles. But the one thing they have in common is that they're always going to be interlocking. This means we can either make the mold to the size of this, or we can cut them apart to something more convenient for our uses. Now because these designs have to be tessellated, they are necessarily modular by nature. So if we cut here, we can make a more or less square object. Once you've done that, simply create a mold of the correct dimension. And slip it in. Also remember that because you have this urethane mold in the bottom, you're going to want to make your um, molds about an inch deeper than you would normally make them uh, if you want your bricks to be the same size as the other ones you've made. What makes this different from a regular uh, aircrete uh, pour is that we're going to start out with this sand topping mix. And that's what uh, we're going to use to hard face it and also hopefully to make a good impression or imprint. Okay so that was the blue mold and you notice we got it in there by about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. We're going to split the bag evenly between these two molds and see how it comes out. And notice I did not smooth that out. Probably don't want it to be too smooth because it'll make a better bond to the aircrete which we're going to pour straight on top of it uh, as soon as we get a batch here made. So it's going in wet on wet and just for the sake of experiment on the other one, we're going to use some vegetable oil to see if that helps uh, the mold release or uh, if it's not even a factor. We'll know that uh, probably tomorrow. Here, so here are the two molds after they've been filled with aircrete. You can see I used some optional clamps on this one. Uh, couldn't find the proper ones that I'd made. And this one is contain, contained entirely by the clamps that are made out of the same material. And I'm going to cover these because it's Hilo and it's probably going to rain. Okay, now it's time to do the unboxing and see how uh, see how it worked.
Okay, and this is the form we didn't oil. Okay. And there's some texture there. A lot of bubbles. I probably should have packed that a little better. But if you look at it, it is hard. Unlike that, you see how it makes a fingerprint? On this, it is hard. So the hard facing does in fact seem to work. Doesn't seem to add a lot to the weight either. But it did stick a little bit because we didn't oil it. We oiled, it came out a little better, I think. The oil, oil made a difference. Oops. Oh, yeah, it did make a difference. That came off pretty nice. So yeah, I'm gonna say oiling is still a thing. Ow! Oh, that's... See see the difference there? Sticks in that far. And the top, on the front, definitely hard. So I'm saying the hard facing, and it did take the impression, took the impression well. So I'm going to say hard facing is a success. It's, this is now officially a thing.